Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to this bit-by-bit -bit video about user variables. We'll see in this video in the next 10 minutes what are user variables, why you would use them, especially to shorten long path, or when you are using a shared menu with favorites that are saved on Cloud Drive, you'll see that various users will find it very uh, convenient to be able to, to use user variables in, for their shared menu. We will see how you create user variables and how you can insert them in your favorites. And we'll finish with a quick overview of how you could get more information about that on quickaccesspopup.com website. So let's open the menu here and see that's the default menu that we have. And let's say that we want to add a folder that or a file that is on a very long uh, path. Uh, you know, uh, some um, network drive will be uh, have a lot of content, very uh, with a big structure on them. And to get to your file, maybe to the file you use every day, you may need to go deeply to browse various sub levels in your uh, directory structure to find the folder you need. So I created an example of this here. Of course, it's a fake example, but it will give you an idea of uh, what I mean. So let's say I want to add a document that is on my network drive, which is on my D drive, under my Dropbox folder, under the QAP demo. And here we have a shared menu demo folder. I uh, know here, the very long path, excuse me, very long path folder, path to, to the folders I am using frequently, but are hidden so deep in the network drive. And finally here, I get to the client's folder that I'm using every day. And here it was easy. There was only one folder in each sublevel, but normally you have to search for the right subfolders for each sublevel. So let's say that under my client folder here, I want to use a file from the ABC client under is project folders. And there's this ABC project where there's a status report that I want to use. Finally, I found the file, but I have here a very long path to this file. Just to check that it works well, I will save my menu, keeping the settings window open and check here if the status report menu works well. Yes, it opens my Word document. But now if I have to do it frequently, instead of having to browse all these folders, I could um, create a user variable and I'll do it here first by selecting the long path until the client's folder here it is. So I stop here at client. I, I cut it and put it in my clipboard. And instead, I will create a user variable with the name clients. It could be the name of your choice. So clients, this name has to be between curly brackets. That's very important to use curly brackets. And when we'll create the variable to use the exact same um, wording or same letters here to uh, to name the variable. So I'm saving it. So of course, if, if I was trying to use it now, it would not work because quick access pop-up doesn't know what means clients here. But if I go to options and go under the more tab here, we have user variables button to click and it opens the list of your current user variables. On some, some system, Quick Access Pop-Up will be able, the first time you open it, to detect some uh, uh, cloud drive uh, routes that, uh, and create automatically uh, user variables for these uh, cloud drive, like Dropbox or Google Drive. In the case of this environment here I'm using for the demo, it, it is not possible to do it, so the, the list is empty. In fact, it just contains an example of a uh, user variable. So I will use this example here to say that Instead of my variables, I will make a variable named clients with an S. And after the equal sign here, I will paste the very long path that I was, uh, that I'm, I was having in my favorite. So I'm saving this, save the options. And now if I open my menu, oops, I was, I have to save my the changes in my menu. So now if I open the status report uh, favorite, it will find the status report 
even if in the path I entered clients here instead of the very long path. So I can reuse this path. For example, I want to create a folder. So I'll create a folder to my clients root and simply enter here curly bracket clients closing curly brackets save and I now have this uh, favorite that will take me directly to the root of this very long path so that's very convenient you can save time by using by using this the second reason to use it and there then it's most more critical because uh, if you use shared menu, you know shared menu can be used on different computers. It can be different of your computer. You can have yourself two computers and you want to share to share favorites with uh, Dropbox folder or um, iCloud or Google Drive folders that are on these different machines, but not necessarily having the same root, the same path to the root of your uh, cloud drive. So I'll show you an example. So you could use, maybe you use it, and if not, I suggest that you explore uh, the usage of shared menu to have a common menu that can be used on the on your different machines uh, for these favorites and if you're part of a team each user of a team can also use a shared drive um, on a cloud drive for example like dropbox to uh, share the files and also a, a list of favorites in their menu using the shared menu favorites so let's click add and add a shared menu to show you what i mean by all this my shared menu is under my root drive I will just get back here to the QAP demo shared menu demo and my example here is under examples for demo so this shared menu here could be used on different machines that I own or with my colleagues or friends that also have a shared menu and also have a cloud drive with their files on it. So here I have this path to my Dropbox shared menu demo. And if I show you what is in this folder, in this shared menu, we have here uh, various files, but the one I want to show you is the ABC status doc one is on C and one is on D. My Dropbox is on my D drive. So if I open this uh, favorite here, it will work. I have the file I want to, to see. But if a colleague is also using, uh, having uh, this file on his Dropbox folder, but, but if his Dropbox folder is in a C, on the C drive, if I try to open it, I will have an error. It will tell me that the C Dropbox does not exist so I have an error here so what I can do instead and both of us have to do that me and my colleagues or if it's you having different computers you have to do it on all of your computers that are sharing these Dropbox files so I'll use this one here and I will copy the favorite so instead of on D I will say it is on Dropbox variable just to make it distinct and now instead of d backslash dropbox i will cut it and enter instead dropbox between curly brackets and i copy the file so this one here is, in, is the new one i will move it at the top and now i go into the options under more very user variables I will now go on the second line and create a new variable named Dropbox. Closing curly bracket equal and I paste the root of Dropbox on my system. Uh, in, in this environment, I have my Dropbox on D drive. My colleagues would do the same. If his Dropbox is on the C drive, he will enter C instead of D here. Okay, save save and close and now under my shared menu i know i have this root this um, this favorite that works on my d drive 
but there's also this one that I just created that is using the user variable. And if I open it, it will open the file correctly because in the menu here, the Dropbox variable is expanded, if you wish, with the correct root on this machine. So then this favorite can be shared by any user of our shared menu. And if they create the correct variable, it will work perfectly. So these are the, uh, some of the usages of the uh, user variables. If you want to find more help on that, you can go on quick access pop-up website. There's a link to it in the default uh, quick access pop-up menu. And under the knowledge base section, there's a lot of information on installing using quick access pop-up basic uh, to advanced features. And if you want to go directly to a topic like what we've just seen, the user variables, you can use the search box here and it will take you directly to the, um, our topic, which is in our case, can I create custom user variables and use them in file or snippets? Because this can also be used in snippets. I haven't covered that here, but uh, you'll find more if you read this information here. So I hope uh, it was helpful. You can um, find more information by browsing the website, hoping to, to see you there and thank you for your attention.